Chair, for, members, appreciate your time. Here. And we'll thank the ever patient Senator Liu. You are up next. This is item number seven, uh, SB 1018. Unless you want to, you know, you have comments on uh, black carbon. No, just this is yet another non controversial me measure. Yeah. Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. Um, SB 1018 is a district bill concerning the State Route 710 at the other end, uh, the North Project, which has a long and storied past. The intent of the bill is to bring more transparency and clarity to the process which has been murky at best thus far, for about 60 years maybe. To the point today, LA Metro is managing LA Metro is managing the 710 North Project, EIR, EIS process, released a cost-benefit analysis of the project's alternatives midway through the comment period on the draft EIR, EIS. <coughs> and at the time, <coughs> Metro stated that the um, cost-benefit analysis was not part, not part of the EIR, EIS, but that it would uh, be relied upon in making a decision on the preferred alternative. Thousands of comments were submitted on the draft EIR EIS and the uh, cost benefit analysis, many critical of the environmental and economic analysis, uh, analytical approach, methodology, and conclusions. The intent of this bill is to make sure that Metro responds to public comments on the uh, cost benefit analysis with the same level of intensity that CEQA and NEPA require for response to comments on the draft EIR EIS. Your committee analysis recommends a different approach to achieve this end, and I'm happy to accept the recommended amendment. Members, the public is confused. They are trying to participate in the public review process for a very controversial project, and it's still not clear which agency is the lead agency for the project and who will make the final decision on the preferred alternative. SB 1018 is an attempt to clarify at least the substantive base upon which that decision will be made. Very simple, and I ask for your support on the bill. Are there witnesses here in support of uh, SB 1018? So. Are there witnesses here opposed to SB 1018? It's here. As amended. Right. Oh. Hey, Michael. Hi. <laughs> good morning, Senator. Um, good afternoon, Senator. Uh, Michael Turner on behalf of the um, Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And I want to start my opposition with um, two apologies and a thank you um, on this bill because uh, I first have to apologize for the senator and the committee if we got our opposition letter in late. So I want to apologize for that. But I also have to be frank and thank the senator uh, for this bill because there has been clearly a question about the role of the uh, uh, cost benefit analysis in this process. And the author's office highlighted how there were, quite frankly, documents that were issued by our agency and by Caltrans that were not consistent with respect to the status of the CBA and the environmental document. Um, we have since uh, received clarification from Caltrans as the lead agency in, the, in both environmental processes that they consider the CBA to be a part of the environmental document. It is included um, in their website as a technical uh, attachment to the environmental document. And we will be working with Caltrans to respond to the comments uh, that are submitted on the entirety of the CBA, excuse me, the entirety of the EIR as well as the CBA. I have to be frank that that would not have happened if this bill were not introduced. And that is clear because um, there was no discussion about that issue, I think. Um, to the extent that we were able to get that clarification prior to the bill's introduction. Nonetheless, this is, again, awkward part number two. Uh, our board is in opposition to the bill. Um, we have not taken a position on the amended version of the bill, so we will go back and review those amendments with our board and uh, revise our position based on those amendments. Enough. Next. Hi, Mr. Chair and, and members. My name is Steve Placido. 
and I'm here in opposition of SB 1018. The City of Alhambra and the 710 Coalition have been longtime advocates for the completion of the 710 Gap. Because of the, the congestion that we experience every single day as people make over 80,000 daily trips on the local street systems. For more than six decades, the state, by not finishing the last piece of the LA freeway system, has exposed our, our school children to experience higher than necessary air pollution caused by day and night bumper to bumper traffic in portions of the San Gabriel Valley we all call home. Over 20 local governments have passed resolutions in support of the GAP's completion, which Caltrans and LA Metro have now are now studying. Specifically, these cities support the construction of a tunnel. While most of these cities are in the San Gabriel Valley, there are cities like Huntington Park and Southeast Los Angeles that support the project. This is the first time in over 60 years that Caltrans and LA Metro are close, are close to finding a viable transportation solution that will relieve congestion in the San Gabriel Valley and the entire Los Angeles region. <coughs> the environmental impact report in progress is in progress and is funded by Measure R, which was passed by two-thirds of the Los Angeles County voters in 2008, mandating transportation upgrades throughout the county. The EIR has been ongoing for over six years at a cost of $40 million. This legislation is unnecessary. It is, it is just yet another attempt by a small group of cities to stop any work that would allow for the construction of a 710 tunnel. Several of your colleagues in the State Senate are in support of the building, are, are in support of building the 710 tunnel because of the health and air quality benefits as indicated, oh, as identified in the environmental work that would benefit the greater Los Angeles area. I respectfully ask for a no vote. Thank you. Others Thank you. opposed to um, SB 1018. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Justin Fanzal on behalf of the California State Pipe Trades Council. I apologize for just notifying you. We were just informed by our client that they are joining the coalition of, led by the State Building Trades opposed to the measure. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Paul Gonzalez representing the city of Rosemead. Rosemead is part of the 710 coalition and simply out of time we'll align our comments with the city of Alhambra in opposition. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, member Cesar Diaz on behalf of the State Building and Construction Trades Council also want to align ourselves with the arguments the opposition has made. This project is a long time in the making. We're hoping that we could get uh, into construction anytime soon, but uh, this bill will essentially kill that project. So for those reasons, we were carefully opposed. Thank you. All right. We'll close the public hearing. Um, Senator Liu, yes, this sir. small bill has actually got Caltrans and MTC hey. to sit down and figure out who is the lead agency. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's, now, there, it's not the perfect bill. No. It's not the perfect bill. No. But, you know, it seems to me that this bill should have another day to live. Thank you. Uh, you know, so that we can make sure, because was the confusion now... MTC is the lead agency. Was that a switch from Caltrans, or was it always MTC with some clouds? The latter. Okay. All right. Questions by members of the senator. You're confused. <laughs> you can read my face that easily. <laughs> so am I. But it's okay. I'm just getting up to speed on the complexity of this and reading the analysis over 50 years, now I hear 60 right. years. Many years. Uh, gosh, my lifetime at least. Yes. So I, I would agree with the chair that you clearly have some accomplishment already with the introduction of the bill. It needs to go to transportation. There'll be further conversations. Who knows what else will happen? Correct. Uh, but I think it deserves to move forward beyond this committee. So not without reservations and concerns. Absolutely. Absolutely. And at least a little bit of visible confusion. Right. I will support the bill today. Thank you. Thank you. Others questions? You may close if there's anything else. Well, I mean, it, it is uh, remarkable 
that uh, we're still here talking about this particular project. And um, I, don't, I think it'll live on past my term here in the, uh, in the legislature. But it's just part of the process. And the process has really taken too long. And uh, we're trying to get folks to communicate with one another. And we've tried for a very long time to do this. And uh, we're glad we introduced the bill simply because it has jump-started some action here. And we uh, would like to continue the conversation with uh, everyone to make sure that uh, we're going to get this uh, resolution made on this particular project one way or the other. And if I may ask, since I serve on the Transportation and Housing Committee, if you, oh, yes, can, you, do. If, you if, if you can get direct verification from MTC, as, we, as a testimony today um, by Mr. Arnold, uh, indicated so that we have that and that the environmental document or the CBA is going to be a, attached to so those those steps that have move forward that that's clear okay all right we'll all right. do that by the next time we we'll that. That. have a motion on the amended matter please call the roll item 7 SB 1018 by Senator Liu the motion is due pass as amended and referred to committee on transportation and housing Senators Wykowski? Aye. Wykowski, aye. Gaines? No. Gaines, no. Bates? No. Bates, no. Hill? Jackson? Leno? Aye. Leno, aye. Pavley? We'll keep the roll open. It's uh, two to two. All right. Thank you. Thank um, you. Thank you for your patience waiting. Mm -hmm. Senator